So a little over six months ago in October of 2021, I had a motorbike accident. Um, I was on a racetrack uh, near Coventry and I came off my motorbike um, straight into a wall, which left me injured. Um, I damaged my spinal cord uh, around my rib level. So I've lost all sensation from below there. Um, movement, touch, heat. Um, I spent uh, three or four months in hospital where I learned to uh, adjust to my life in a wheelchair and re relearn how to do all the activities that I once would. The doctors were very honest. Their, their opinions were that I would definitely need a miracle to have to walk again. When I first was admitted to hospital, my family were told that I may not even make it out of hospital alive. Um, they were also told that I would be in hospital for at least six to eight months. I'm very fortunate in the area I live that we are very close to Matt Hampton Foundation. It's a rehabilitation center where they perform physiotherapy. They introduce you to normal life. Um, Matt Hampton's a very inspiration person who had a similar injury which left him paralyzed um, uh, from, his, uh, from his neck down. Um, and he just shows exactly where and how far I could go in life. Um, the place is absolutely fantastic, Matt Hampton Foundation, and I owe a lot to them for what they've given. Today was really tough. It was, a, it was a hard day, but what an inspirational day. We took you know, Jacob up there, he's done amazing, but meeting people, even along the way, people sort of cheering us, people clapping us, people joining in, helping push, helping lift us up. It was, it was amazing. It was exactly what today was about. You must be incredibly pleased with what you've achieved. Oh, he's, it's phenomenal what he's achieved. He's, he, you know, he's been up there so determined from start to finish, and and like you say, it was hard. It was, it was, it was hard to see, you know, how much effort he's put in. Um, but he's, he's, he's done great. He's done great. The whole point of what he was doing is, is, is to get everyone together to do something, do something like this to show that life doesn't have to be over. That life, life is, it, you know, is. It, you know, the injuries are horrific, the, it's life changing, but it, it doesn't have to be over. And, and to show others that maybe have had that accident that, or any kind of accident, that there's lots of things out there. Uh, the GoFundMe page so far has raised £16,500 towards his rehab, um, which it, it is a lot of money, um, but the especially spinal injuries, um, physios are very expensive, wheelchairs, that a right for an active user like Jacob are very expensive and it, and it will um, help um, massively to, to his rehabilitation. In terms of why you wanted to do this walk, why was it so yeah. important for you to do that? Um, this was set up originally in the first two weeks of my accident. Um, my family set it up as sort of a, a goal. Uh, it was very optimistic and I'm, I wasn't sure at the time that we'd ever do it. Um, and then once I saw how positive everybody was through the GoFundMe and how much uh, people were willing to help me, I knew that this had to be achieved. It seemed a, a very big challenge whilst I was in hospital, but once I started adjusting and started to learn how to adjust to my new life, it, it seemed more achievable. The biggest thing for me was my family. Um, I needed to prove to them that I can still live a full life. I needed to prove to myself that I could still do almost everything that I would have done before. Um, nothing after my injury has changed. Um, I'll still continue to work. I'd love to go to the gym. I continue all my hobbies. I've learned new hobbies. I've met new people that have inspired me greatly. And yeah, this injury definitely wasn't the end of me. And I'm really happy that we've been here today and managed to uh, climb the mountain.